I'm going to do a real simple, real pretty short, I hope, tutorial on how to um, use Audacity, the free software um, program for sound. Uh, it's a great program because you can just record things and if you want to go back and edit whatever you've recorded, you can do that. People use Audacity in music industry even. It's, it's a really high quality free program. Um, and it, uh, it can be used to make a podcast too, if you're interested in doing that. You can, uh, you can do a long audio video, I'm sorry, you can do a long audio uh, presentation, a long lecture. Um, you don't have to be worried about like going over a certain amount of time or having the file be so huge and enormous like you would with a video. Um, that uh, you, you can't do like an hour long lecture if that's your thing and you wanna do it, right? And if this is something you wanna preserve. Another thing you can do is, let's say um, you, um, you, know, you make a handout or something and you're concerned about uh, you know, visually impaired students not being able to read the, the material. You can read it yourself and record it in Audacity and upload a an audio transcript to accompany that if, if that's what you need to do. Um, so it's a very useful little program. Um, okay, so I am first going to go and I'm going to go to the website here. Um, okay, so the website is audacityteam.org and um, I'm going to, you, you have to download a separate program for Mac or Windows. So I'm going to click on Audacity for Windows. Um, I'm going to go down to the recommended downloads and the first one is the one that has the manual in it. So I'm going to just click Audacity 2.3.3 installer. And then here I'm going to click again Audacity Windows installer. When it's done you open it and you are going to install it. Choose English if that's your language. Welcome to Audacity Wizard. Just go through the steps and it will install. It'll launch. All right, so this is the interface here. Um, the, the record button is here. You can actually just start recording right away. Um, you can adjust your microphone volume. You can adjust your, um, your playback volume. Um, the defaults are set so they, they shouldn't have too much distortion. So you could probably just start with the defaults and then later if you need to play around with it, you can. Um, let's click on record and I'll start recording my voice right away. You can see here is my voice. When I'm done, I click the, the stop button, the square here. Um, okay, so now I should be able to play this back. So if I want to, let's see, if I want to return to the, um, the beginning, where it says skip to start here, okay. I just click that and then I can hit the play button. And I'll start recording my voice right away. You can see here is, it's a little loud. Um, if I wanna change the volume of this, I can. Um, but first I'm gonna show you, let's just keep it super simple, sim super, super simple. So let's say that, um, you know, I made my recording it's adequate, it's gonna work. Um, I'm ready to download it as an audio file. So go to file and here, here's like where you could get a little mixed up, so don't do that. You, it's save project is to save this project in Audacity only. It's not gonna save it as a f an audio file that you can share. So we can certainly save the project. Let's save the project. You see, it even gives you a warning here. It says, save project is for an Audacity project, not an audio file. For an audio file that will open in other apps, use export. Don't use this, don't show this warning again. Okay, 
So I'm going to save this as my project one. Um, and it'll save it in a folder for these project files on my computer, right? So, so what you'll do is you, it'll, it, it should be probably in your, um, either your downloads folder or in your program files for Audacity. There should be a little folder with the projects in it. Um, you know, you can also change the, the download settings of that so it'll land in your desktop or in a special folder that you set up or something. But anyway, I'm going to export it. That's the thing that's going to turn it into an audio file. So you can see here, it gives you lots of options. The first two are the ones that people are probably going to use the most. One is MP3, one is WAV. Um, WAV is a really high quality um, file that is pretty adaptable anywhere, but it does take up more space. Um, it is a bigger file. MP3 is generally pretty great for sharing, you know, like on Blackboard and that too. Either one of these usually is going to work. Um, you may run into some small issues with MP3 where it's going to ask you to download another little bit of software called the LAME or LAME file. Um, and uh, so for that reason, I'm going to export it as a wave right now. Um, I'm going to do that. So it gives you, okay. Uh, you can see this is where it's sharing, it's uh, saving my project data um, in a, f a folder called Audacity, which is in my documents folder. So the default is in documents Audacity. Um, and I can save all of my stuff right in there too. So I'm going to, I'm going to use the same name, project one, and I'm going to save it as a wave. And I'm going to click save. Um, here you can uh, you can put info, um, artist name, you know, you can put any kind of information you want for yourself, right? You can see this was originally set up to be music software. Um, you don't really have to worry about any of this other stuff. Just click, just click OK. And OK, so I'm going to find it in my documents folder. So it's, here is my WAV file. It's going to give me options to open it, like iTunes, Windows Media Player. Let's open it in Windows Media Player. And I'll start recording my voice right away. You can see here is my voice. When I'm... <laughs> okay, and that is it. That is my voice. Okay, so suppose, I mean, obviously, you know, I may want to edit that. Okay, let's say that um, I, I want to make it softer so I, or louder, so I can, I can select, whoops, sorry, go here and select all. And then I can go to effects. And there's a, all these different editing kind of plugins that you can use to play around with the sound. So, you know, it can be a lot of fun to play around with changing pitch and speed and messing around and you can you can um you can layer sound you can you know you can really become a little audio engineer using this program if you want but i'm just going to click amplify and um i'm not going to allow clipping clipping is what if you allow clipping it can be it can make it very very loud if you try to make it loud like you can push it all the way to the right and make it super loud and it will be very distorted so don't allow clipping if you want to avoid distortion. Um, okay, so I am going to um, just use this little thing here and go as far as I can go without allowing clipping. And you can see it's not letting me go at all, very far at all um, because it was already loud. If I want to make it softer, I can go this way. I can go to the left and make it much softer. Don't want to make it too soft because it's not going to be audible at all. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay. Did it work? Let's see. Let's see if I made it softer. Did I screw up? Work, and I'll start recording. Yeah, I don't, I don't think. Okay, select. Let's see. 
select all okay let's see maybe I, I clicked on it all right and it it turned kind of dark so let's see if that works repeat amplify <laughs> okay it's not working okay so if I select all and I go to effect and I go to repeat it. okay now you can see it getting smaller right so we select all control a or choose select all and then you can whoops you can change your amplify see it's make it's getting smaller and smaller that means it's getting softer and softer so now I'm if I play this now it should work and I'll start recording my voice right away you can see here is my voice it's still pretty loud right I'll start recording my voice right away you can see here all right so anyway it, it, it um, the sound quality of this file is really really strong um, and uh, I didn't I don't need it to be very loud right and of course when people listen to this they can change the audio the volume settings and their playback too so you don't you don't need to have it be super loud but you want it to be clear um, so if you want to like delete parts of it, you know, let's say you you want to cut. Let me um, let me play this again. See if a good place to cut it. And I'll start recording my voice. Right. Okay. So I had I had kind of started this in the middle. So that point where I said org <laughs> at the beginning. Let's say I just want to cut that out. I can take my mouse and select this little piece here, and then I can um, hit my delete button. It'll just delete it. Right so now and i'll start recording my voice right away you can so now i can i can do that i can if there's parts in the middle where there's some distortion or something i can delete them um, i can also um, remove noise see this thing called noise reduction here so um, you can select the audio for noise reduction to use. Select audio that represents noise and use noise reduction to get your noise profile. So what you do with that is you find a place like if you have like distortion in the back of your in the back of your recording, like a vacuum cleaner or something, and you want to get rid of that noise. The ideal thing is you know to record something without noise in the background, but sometimes there'll be noise in the background like you're not even aware of. So what you would do is you would find a little piece of the video, of the audio where the noise there's some distortion for example here you can see it this is not really serious distortion or background noise but there's a little bit of of stuff going on and it's not me talking it's probably just some noise in my room right so if i go here i could go to um, noise reduction get noise profile so that's my noise profile and then after I get my noise profile, I go back here again and say, and then say, it would say, select all of the audio you want filtered, choose how much noise you want filtered out, and then click OK to reduce noise. So then what I would do is go back and select all. OK, so ver this verifies now. It turns white when it's selected. That I got a little bit confused earlier because it used to turn dark when you selected it. Now it turns whiter on this computer anyway. Um, so now I'll go back to noise reduction, um, reduce. Okay. So, oh, you see what it just did? It, see how clean this is now? So this part where there was a little bit of, of background noise is very clean. Now, um, if you do this excessively, it's going to make your voice sound a little weird and tinny because it's also going to eliminate some of the um, natural richness and fiber of your voice when it cleans up the background noise. Um, 
So you don't want to, you know, keep, you know, trying to get like that perfect lack of background noise excessively because it will change your voice too a little bit. Um, this is enough. I've already gone on longer than I thought I was going to go on. But anyway, you've, you can see how to download the, the program, um, how to hit the record button, how to record your voice, um, how to play back and how to, um, how to delete extraneous sound and how to clean up your noise profile and how to, how to change the volume of the, of the file of the overall volume of the file if you need to. Um, so after you make all those changes, you can, again, you go to export, export, I'm gonna to go to export as wave and save it. I'm gonna call this project 1.5. All right. Uh, okay, so, excuse me, just a few other things um, about your setup for this. So how do you, how you record in the first place? So I used my webcam microphone, which is what I generally use with my system um, as a microphone. Um, you don't have to necessarily go and buy a microphone for this, but you know, if, if, if it makes you feel good, like get a, get a microphone, a desk microphone, like a nice one and, you know, set up a little, a little, you know, studio for yourself. Um, I have a snowball mic here that if this sounds so good, you know, like, I don't really think I'm going to need the snowball mic. Um, but um, I, you know, I might experiment with the different microphones and um, you can also, um, you can record things on your phone too. And then, you know, if you can get those files from your, your um, audio recording, what you could do is download it to your Google Drive and then get that Google Drive on your computer and then you can play around with it in Audacity too. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to probably, I might make more of these, but this is all for now. I have talked way too long. Uh, don't get overwhelmed. Uh, bye. Talk to you later.